Hey guys, Atticus James here with GhostOfGuns.com and today we're going to be talking about steel. Now, I don't really want to go and tell you what you can shoot at steel, what you can't, how close or anything like that. All of this is stuff that I do. This is not something that I recommend you do because I don't know what kind of steel you have, I don't know what you're going out there and doing, so I'm not going to recommend anything other than what the manufacturers suggest. So. If you're looking at purchasing steel, make sure you buy it from a high quality manufacturer such as MK Machining, the guys that sent us out this plate that we're going to be shooting up today. So go check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. Before we get any farther into this, the max range we're going to go out to is about 50 yards. These are going to be the 50 yard guns that I have, anything within 50 yards that I'm going to be able to shoot and I'm willing to show you guys on camera that I shoot it at this close. Anything that I shoot that's this close, at 50 yards or closer, that I do not show on camera, I do not recommend you shoot it this close. The reason is, is that you're going to get spray back, you're going to get, or splash back, you're going to get a lot of problems by doing that. You're going to see pitting, you're going to see other problems. So, these are the guns that I see no problem shooting under 50 yards. Let's jump into it. Alright, so the first gun we have on my list is going to be my AR pistol. This is the CMMG build that I've been working on for a while now. Still not finished, still looking at a few other parts that I want to show you guys, but really enjoying this rifle. Now, you're probably thinking, 5.56.223 is not a round that you can shoot at anything like 10 yards, which is where we're at. That's because we're running the CMMG conversion kit for the 22 lr I have no problem shooting this at this close. Now, in case you're wondering, AR stands for abrasive resistant, which means that this typically is found in mining equipment. We've just found that it works well for shooting. Let's go to the next gun, shall we? Now, many of you guys know that I'm a big fan of Canik, and I really love what they've been doing lately. I really like the new gun that is coming out here very soon, if you guys haven't already seen it. I'm not sure when this video will be published, but there's something cool in the pipeline. Anyways, I've got my Canik TP9. We're still here at about the 10 yard range. Let's go and shoot some steel. Again, we're at such a close range and nine millimeters not traveling fast enough that it's not gonna do much damage. It's going to be a lot of fun. You can practice really well on this. Let's go with something a little bit bigger. I really like bronze. Again, we're going to show another CMMG. This is their Banshee in 45 ACP. So again, 45 is going to be slow enough that it's not going to have a problem. The problem that we run into is that a bullet is traveling too fast and has too much energy. I'm going to put a link in the description from Champion to show you basically their recommended shooting practices with their steel plates. Check out the link in the description. One thing that I do love is that it's got a nice thud when it hits that plate. Pistol. Let's move back a little bit. Now for my next trick we're going to be showing you my hunting rifle. Now this is chambered in 300 blackout. This is suppressor ready. We are at 50 yards. Now I typically would not say to use this rifle at 50 yards. The bullet's just traveling too fast. However, we're running subsonic ammunition. Let's shoot it, shall we? Not as satisfying. That's a little better. Now what can I show you after 300 blackout that's gonna make you go, yeah! That's what I want to shoot at this range. Now, a lot of you probably are saying, Atticus, I shoot at closer distances than this with my blank rifle, with this, with that. And you know what? I don't want to know. These are the rounds that I am willing to say are safe enough for me to show on camera for you guys to be able to try. Now, even the next round that I'm going to say is not recommended. However, I'll tell you why I do and how I do it, and my big no-no. When it comes to shooting steel, 
the biggest thing that I can tell you is the farther the better. The farther you are, the safer you're going to be. If you are shooting at 100 yards with 5.56, five, you may do a little bit of pitting, but at least you're not gonna be worrying about that bullet coming back and splattering on you. Now, typically that's not going to be a huge problem if it's just splatter coming back at you. It may cut up your skin a little bit, but it's typically after it hits that plate, if it's properly installed, it's not going to be doing enough damage to come back and really penetrate. However, that is not always the case. Please understand that if you go and shoot without following the manufacturer's recommended safe distances, you are putting yourself at risk. Let's go to the next round. All right, next up we have the Galil Ace, chambered in 7.62 by 39. Now, I said that in most cases, I'm not gonna wanna shoot this round. And the reason is, is because I typically carry the Military Classic Wolf Ammunition. That is a bimetal jacket, which means that it's a copper washed jacket. It's a steel case copper washed jacket, but it has a little bit of steel in it. You're gonna have a lead core. You're gonna be fine in all of that cases, but you're still gonna have to deal with the fact that there's still some steel in here. So you don't really wanna shoot it too close because you are going to pit it, but the trick that I have found, and the one that I'm willing to show you and tell you about, is that I use hollow points. Hollow points are going to go and spread a lot quicker and going to do a lot less damage to your steel plate, causing a lot less damage. This is important. If we want the longevity of a plate, we really don't want any damage done to the plate. We want the, the paint to chip off, but the plate should stay intact. Light pitting is okay, but when you start really heavily pitting your plate, you're gonna run into problems. Let's shoot this, shall we? So, you're probably wondering, what is the safe distance for my particular caliber? Well, Federal has been kind enough to actually post some information on the back of some of their boxes. So what we're gonna see here is muzzle, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. This really tells us enough information that we can go and determine what we need to see. So, using the reference that we have below, we need a sum of 2,500 feet per second at 100 yards. If we wanna shoot anything, because when we're talking rifle cartridges, you really need the range so you're not dealing with any kind of ricochet. So, this is going to be my 300 wind mag. Let's see what our uh, safe distances are. As we can see, Muzzle is going to be way too high. 100 yards is over the suggested, 200 yards over the suggested. So we're really looking at about 300 yards if we're going in a 100, 200, 300 yard distance. So looking at this, I know that if I wanna go and shoot this, I need to be sitting 300 yards away to hit that steel and not worry about damaging my steel plates. You're probably wondering, well, my ammunition doesn't come with that. How do I know? You can typically Google it, say, blank ammo and feet per second, and it will typically tell you. You can find some websites that have that information. Whether it be the manufacturer or people who have chronographed it, you can find it out. Just a simple way to figure out what is safe to shoot at your different ranges. You may be wondering why you don't see 5.56 out here. And the reason is, is because that's a 100 yard shot for me. I don't like to have my shots any closer than 100 yards with my 5.56 five, because I and like to make sure that my steel, no matter what, is going to hold up. And 100 yards is going to be my safest distance. That's where I'm gonna shoot from. That is where I recommend you start at. Anything beyond 100 yards is going to be the good zone. Anything closer than 100 yards is a no-go zone. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys give me a thumbs up because you enjoyed this video so much. I also hope that if you're not subscribed, you will subscribe and you will hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Now, you guys are probably wondering, hey, we want some cool social media. Well, I got a lot of social media for you. We've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest. We are even over at thegunstreamer.com forward slash at Gears of Guns. Go give us a, a check out over there. 
I'm Atticus James with GearsofGuns.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some of this information informative, and I will catch up with you guys next time. Bye.